Hello everyone and welcome back to Propway. Before I get into it, I just wanted to wish you all a very happy new year. Thank you all so much for your support last year and I'm so excited to show you what's to come in 2022. So as you already know by the title and the thumbnail, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your very own Green Goblin Pumpkin Bombs. Now these pumpkin bombs originally appeared in the Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire and it reappeared in the new film Spider-Man No Way Home. So I figured now was the perfect opportunity to show you guys how to make your own. And with some very and with some very simple materials and tools, you guys can make one for yourself. I also made a template with all of the pieces that you'll need to cut out for this and I will be putting a link to that in the description below. And it's kind of hard to tell in this lighting but you can also see that it actually lights up green on the inside. And you guys can definitely add that to yours, or you don't have to if you don't want to, but it does definitely add a very accurate and realistic touch to the pumpkin bomb. Now before I get on with this tutorial, feel free to hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. It really helps out my channel a lot. And also feel free to follow my Instagram and my TikTok where I post a lot of photos and videos that you guys don't see here on YouTube. And now let's get on with the tutorial. So I first start off by using this clear Christmas ornament. It's just made out of plastic. You can buy it at a store or online. And the first thing you're going to want to do is cut out a hole at the top with a knife. You want to be sure to be very careful with this knife because depending on how hard the plastic is, it can be kind of difficult to cut. So as you can see, you have a hole here about, I'd say one inch in diameter. And now what we're gonna do to cover it in green is we're gonna take a balloon. I know it sounds silly. We're gonna take a balloon and we're gonna cut off that neck right there. Then you're gonna open that up and kind of just wrap it around that clear ornament just like this. And here I am just using these fairy lights, which basically is just a bunch of small lights on a wire and that can be controlled by a little switch and a battery pack. And basically all we're going to do is stuff that entire wire of lights into the ornament. So just to do a little test, here you can see I turn on the light. And now I'm just cutting out that opening at the top just a little bit. And here you can see that hole was large enough for this little switch to fit in. So you wanna make sure you do the same for yours. And now to do the pattern on the outside, I just put some masking tape on the outside of the ornament and I kind of sketched out the details. This step you do not have to do because I already made the template for you guys. So here again, this is just me creating that template with a piece of the blue masking tape that I cut out. So your template should look something like this. Um, it will be a little different. It will have little extra details on it, which I did not show here, but it'll be very similar. So here you can kind of see how it just wraps around the sides of that ball. And now I'm just gonna trace out that template onto some foam. I used a two millimeter thick foam and then you kind of want to flip it over and trace it again. And here I'm cutting it out and you can see there's those black little lines which was an extra detail that I added which will be on the template. So you should have a piece that looks like this and before we glue it on we are going to end up painting this thing. So I couldn't find a metallic orange at the store, so here I'm going to be mixing a metallic gold and a metallic bright red. And this should get me kind of a metallic orange color you see here. And you can obviously change that if you'd like, but that's all I had. So here I'm just going to take a brush and just brush it on. I did end up adding maybe three layers of this paint just to get a nice solid color. And you want to make sure you also get all of the edges as well. So now once you have both pieces painted, I just took some super glue and I first added glue to the middle ring part like this. Once that glue is added, you can just set it on to the center of that hole on the ball. And 
And once that ring is on there, you can kind of just press it down to make sure it's secured. And now we are going to glue down each of those little legs that come out. So I'm just going to add some more super glue to each leg. And you kind of want to just make sure you push it down in its natural state. You don't really want to bend it one way or the other. So we're going to do that to all eight of the legs. And you should have something like this. And now we're going to repeat the exact same process onto the other piece of the template. And here you can see that these legs are just fitting in between the other legs. So now we are going to add this little ring to the top and bottom. And here is another piece that we are going to glue on top. This piece is just going to be cut out of black foam. So here I'm adding that super glue. And then I add the first orange ring. And then on top of that, I'm adding more glue and I'm going to add on that black piece of foam with the little spikes on it. And I love that little detail of those black spikes. I think it just adds a lot of extra texture and depth to the ball and makes it look a lot more realistic. And here, just doing a little quick test with the light. And now just to the other side, I am gluing that black piece onto the orange ring. And this piece is actually going to be able to come on and off because you're going to need access to the light on the inside. And I'm just going to hold that cap piece in place with some double-sided tape. So I'm just going to cut out a little ring out, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut out a little circle out of this green balloon here. And now, and now I'm just going to add some glue to the inside of that ring and glue that green piece of balloon. And here I'm using a circle made out of some thin plastic. And basically what I do is I'm going to kind of push it through that green balloon and it should hold in place like this and what that'll do is just give you a nice solid surface instead of a, you know a loose balloon piece on that cap and you can super glue that in there to make sure it's secured and now the final step is to use this gloss mod podge and basically we're just gonna brush it onto the entire pumpkin bomb and that should give it a nice shiny effect and this is what you should have when you're done thank you guys so much for watching that tutorial I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys try it out for yourself. I know some of you are going to ask and the answer is yes, you can build this with cardboard. And if someone comments below if you can build this with cardboard, I'm going to know that you didn't watch the whole video. If you do decide to make it, feel free to tag me on Instagram and TikTok and I would absolutely love to see your work. Thanks again for watching, happy new year, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.